What's up, YouTube? It's Andrew Pone again, and I have a um, a launcher review this time. It's called Tile Launcher, and it basically makes your phone or your home screen look like it is um, on Windows RT or uh, Windows 8, whatever you want to call it. Sliding interface, left to right. I actually love this because I have a I have the Surface tablet, so I'm quite used to this. I'm turn on the brightness. Quite used to having this kind of sliding motion right here. It's it's a really interesting uh, home screen replacement. I don't have that many settings. This is still in beta, actually, but uh, it does let you do a, a bunch of things. Like for example, obviously I have a, a bunch of widgets. I have the the uh, what is this? The Sony Xperia clock and the uh, just the weather, whatnot. Comes with Google, or whatever, and uh, just a bunch of apps. And I have a, a Gmail widget right here for all my emails and stuff like that. And if you let's for example take this tile, long press it. It'll give you the option to make it longer, uh, go down, up. And if you hold it and move it, you'll actually have the option to move it somewhere else. Then you can go ahead and make it longer like this. For example, you can make it take up this entire spot, which is, I'd say, is a rather big icon. But uh, you can go ahead and just give it like that. Keep it. Uh, I usually just keep it right around there and just have it kind of almost like a brick and mortar kind of thing set up where it kind of just does that and that and has a bunch of them back and forth and you can go like this um, it'll actually move all the other icons and it's kind of it's kind of tricky to move um, unless you're like up here but it's kind it's kind of yeah it's kind of tricky otherwise if you do like touch an icon for example it will move uh, the, all of them over because of it being like a jelly bean kind of built in thing to where all the icons move over I'm going to have to move all my icons over because it's probably going to bother me actually let's do that that's easier and then just move all this stuff over. See, once you move one thing, it's probably gonna move the entire thing, especially if you mess up on something. Um, it does come with a few options. For example, if you click on an icon, it'll give you options at the top right here. You can either delete it or change it. You can have a title, uh, whatever you wanna title the app. Uh, I believe this is the icon, or the color of the uh, tile. I just have it set to whatever it was. Or uh, actually, oh, that's your that's your uh, color for the text, actually the font color. And then this down here is the background color of your tile. Uh, if you if you just add it to your home screen, it'll be a random color. So that's quite cool. For example, I will add calculator to the home screen. It will just automatically generate a color. Delete that. Oh, you yeah, have calculate on there. Then you can go up into the drawer, the app drawer. Same as basically everything. Um, switches to your uh, widgets and stuff like that. They have some options, some simple options. I haven't really done anything with these. You can change it to a uh, hollow light theme, which is kind of bright in your eyes, actually, if you look at it. Except the drawer is really like, just blatantly white. And then if you click the settings, I believe, it is also, or not the settings, the, you go up here, Type this tap the little icon again, it's all white. I prefer the uh hollow dark theme, it looks a lot better. I have to go back to the home screen to change it again. And we'll go back into the desktop, um, where you can change your screen. Rotation, I have it set to of course I get a message. Go ahead and just leave that. I did get a message. And uh so yeah, you can basically just change it, get screen rotation and all that. Um I have it set to auto rotate, so that way if you're on the home screen it'll it'll for example it's it'll rotate like this. Which is like, <laughs> I guess that's cool looking. It makes you reminds me of uh, Windows RT, or uh, basically just my Surface. But I like to have it like this. And you can just just scroll like that. It's not like Windows Phone because Windows Phone obviously scrolls up and down. But uh, here we go, desktop again. You can have the amount of rows. I have it set to four. I think that's maximum. Columns is twelve, but you can set it to all the way up to like sixteen. But you really, don't even need that. Gap size. That is the size between obviously the gaps. Yeah, let's go back in here. Tiles. We have a label. Um, I think that's just whatever it is. The icon. That is the. Oh, you can have different icons for your tiles. I haven't really messed with these too much. I just like the stock look. Background transparency. That is uh, what you think it is transparency for your background. And uh, widget defaults. Background transparency is quite interesting. Uh, it doesn't really do that big of a difference when you change it, so I just kind of left it there. And uh, yeah, they just updated it yesterday, actually. 
So hopefully you guys will check this out. Uh, out. And I hope you guys liked it. This is a very cool app, especially if you're a Windows lover or Windows 8 lover and you just haven't had the chance to try it out yet, Windows 8 or whatever. It is quite an awesome little launcher. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.